Hello fellow NFT artists and collectors. Um, as you can see, I've gone off the deep end into the rabbit hole, full on crypto enthusiast. Uh, I love it. I love the community. I love the people. I love the NFT games. I love creating NFT art. The discord, everything is just so awesome. Like the philosophy, the mentality behind the blockchain. Yeah. I am one of those, and if I could afford an ape or a uh, punk, I probably would. But anyways, this video is to say that I sold out. I well, not so sell out. I mean, I sold out on Nifty Gateway. I had my first drop, and it was really, really. Um, I don't want to get emotional saying this video. Uh, that that card is overplayed, you know. But I wasn't expecting that level of support. I made 50 editions. I priced them very low because my philosophy is to try and get your uh, work into the art, into the hands of as many collectors as possible. Courtesy of my friend NorCal Guy and Kryptonio, you guys really kind of guide me uh, when it comes to pricing, which is one point I really want to make. Like, if you're an NFT artist, you should listen to the collectors. Uh, these days, the market hasn't been the best. You know. Uh, a lot of people are trying to work, price their works too high or go up too fast, and that just kind of prices out people who want to collect your work. And I've been taking a different approach. I want to keep my work affordable at least for for a long while, so that more people can become aware of my works and just let it increase in price over time. Because as I was told, uh, I want to say traditional art usually increases by value by what three or five percent per year, and then you have like crypto artists trying to go a hundred percent increase every time they drop a piece if you do that eventually no one can afford your work except for like a certain amount of people but anyways that's what i think has helped me be successful i listen to the collectors i listen to the community i pay attention to the markets because you know you don't want to go too high when everything is kind of bearish and i've just embraced yeah i've em i've embraced the metaverse you know like the blockchains uh, ethereum bitcoin cardano Matic, I've been investing. I've, I wish I've done it when I was younger. You know, that's really all I gotta say. But I'm doing it now. I even embrace collectibles. Like I, I'm enjoying being part of this. Like it's, it's unlike anything I've ever been part of before. I've even gotten into NFT gaming. So this channel is almost a thousand subscribers. Once we get to a thousand subscribers, I can do live streams. So hopefully I can uh, live stream some Axie Infinity. You can see me lose. But it's fun. I really enjoy it. Now, if you don't know, Axie Infinity is one and one of the many NFT games out there. You can actually earn money playing it, but it costs a lot of money to get started. Uh, but there's a lot of new games out there, so get in on early while you can if you really believe in the project. And yeah, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm really grateful. Uh, if I also sold out on Foundation, on Maker's Place, on Hick and Nunk, I had a one-on-one -on, -one on there. And I had some pieces on Calament, which I completely forgot about. I don't really use Calament so much anymore. But some collectors found the pieces that I had forgotten about. I forgot to burn them. And they bought me out. So kudos to them. They were very lucky. Those, pre those pieces were actually on a pretty low price because I forgot about them. I, I, I should have burned them. But it's, maybe it's good I didn't. Anyways... Thanks for everything, everyone. Uh, please share these videos with others. I want to be the crypto artist that you go to for education, uh, inspiration, and uh, friendship. So catch around and expect some Axie Infinity, maybe some Illidium, uh, Zed Run, Crypto Raiders, all that stuff. It's coming up. I'll catch you later, and maybe I'll also do some videos on blockchain for crypto artists, because many people don't understand. Anyways, see you around.